Hello, today we are going to be going over the basic menus for Cricut Design Space, specifically in the way that we're going to use it for the Cricut Joy. So to start, this is your home screen after you open the app and you want to come over to the top corner and make sure that the machine selection is for the machine you're using. So for example, today we will be covering for the Cricut Joy. And when you are ready, go ahead and hit this plus button. And I already have a canvas open, um, but you won't have this pop up. Either way, you want to get to the canvas. So the first um, item down here is the image menu. And these are the images that are provided by Cricut. If you have Cricut access, then the majority of these will be free. However, um, licensed images such as Disney, so on and so forth, those ones you will still have to pay for even with Cricut Access. So if you want a ready-made image, then that is where you come for that. They also offer some editable images that are also part of their um, online um, subscription that you can get some of them are um, as you can see these split monograms um, some of them are uh, calendars uh, some of them you can add your name to as we see over there so if you don't have time to actually design something then this could be a good avenue um, to get your project done quickly now the next one is text, and this is, of course, if you want to add text. So, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and type my name as an example, and we can show all of the different things that we can do under this tab. So this first one is the font name. This is how you can change what font you want to use. Um, the Cricut ones, of course, they have a variety and many of them are free. Some of them, however, do cost money even with the Access membership. Um, if you are on a laptop, uh, I recommend downloading your own fonts. I love to get fonts from Creative Fabrica and you can use them in here and you don't have to pay for the Cricut Access. On a tablet, it is significantly harder, but um, you can do that also. If you have some favorite Cricut fonts, you can use the bookmarked section to do that. Now, um, the next menu for that is under style. And from here, you can have it do regular, bold, italic, bold, italic, or writing. Um, if you are using a Cricut font, the writing one will be make things a lot easier for writing on different shapes and different things, um, which we will get into later on. You also have the size. The size you can change by number, or um, you can also change it with these grab handles, um, depending on which is easier for you, and the size will automatically change. Letter space and line space doesn't really matter necessarily unless you're going to be doing multiple lines. Um, the basic operation is important to know if, if you're using a font that is already installed on your device and this writing isn't here, then you will want to come to Come to the oper or to the operations and change that from basic cut to writing. Um, these are also important to know because this is how big it's going to be total. And you want to make sure that you check how big it is after you change it to writing if that is indeed uh, what you are looking to do. Um, you can also mirror it horizontal or vertical if you want a different look. Um, you can change the position of it either by dragging or by changing these numbers here. You can also change the rotation. So if you want it on an angle, you can either use this button or you can use the handle that has the little arrows. 
Something that they added within the last couple of years is the offset, which is nice if you want a background. So this background will be cut out um, for the trim and then you can have the words written on it. So that is a cool feature that they recently added for you to try. Um, the next section is shapes. They have a decent amount of free shapes that you can use, which is super handy for card making or whatever you're looking to do. You can also combine shapes. Um, they also have some page shapes that are included in the Cricut Access. If you're looking for banners, they even have this cool diamond, check marks, all, all of those kinds of fancy things. Um, you can either pay for the Cricut Access or each of these shapes. If there's one specifically you're going to use a lot, you can buy it for 99 cents. The Upload tab is great for when you are um, when you have something that you want to upload, whether if it's not for the Cricut Joy, then you can do print and cuts. But since the Cricut Joy does not have that, you don't have to worry about that. Um, so here are some of the ones that I have uploaded in the past. You would use the ones that are like this. Um, these ones that have the actual like puppies and stuff, those could not be used. But these SVG files, um, they're called, these ones can be used with the Cricut Joy. But that is where you will find them here. Um, the next one is the actions tab. And from here you can delete, um, you can duplicate. If it if you have something grouped together um, for the layers, you can ungroup it. You can also uh, group it together if you want to move everything all at once and you don't want it to move. Attach is very important when you are using the writing feature because you will need to attach it to your background. If you have Cricut Access, then you have access also to what they call Warp, where you can change each uh, nodule so that you get a custom look. If you have two shapes, you can do Combine and Slice. And for mostly it's for print and cuts, um, but you also have the Flatten and Unflatten buttons here. And for the text, you have the isolate letter. So if you want to move some higher, move some lower, that is up to you. The edit tab is very similar for text as it is um, under the text tab. Um, here you can create an offset. You can figure out what operation you want. And these will change depending on what layer you have selected. The Layers tab is very important, especially when you start getting more fancy with it and you have multiple layers. Um, it's good to be able to delete a layer. You can group them, attach them, and add a new layer if you need some extra space. So the last couple of buttons are the Undo button. If you make a mistake, then you can undo it. If you realize that doing the undo was the mistake, you can also do redo. Um, and that pretty much sums it up. Um, you have up here in the top right corner, you have the save button. So if you're in the middle of a project and then you decide that you can't finish it right then, you can save it, add a title, and come back later. Um, and then... There's also the make it button when you are ready to get started. So these are the basic functions of how to use Cricut Design Space on Android. And so um, the next video we will talk about how we can do the writing on and cutting out the shape in one step. Bye.